guys welcome back to Ganchi plans today is my monthly flip through video it's February 2021 and I am still in my Moterm a7 loving it uh, let's take a look I'll just jump right in I've got what's oh, there's stickers in the front pocket for a change that's new uh, for this month because some of them actually fit and I've been using this set from twin 16 for my weekly setups I really like the color scheme um, so much that I don't know I might just use the same color scheme two months in a row is that ridiculous I don't know uh, there's also actually a couple of stickers in the front zipper pocket which I would use more often if I were paying for things with cash which I haven't done in like a year uh, there's these tiny itty bitty little dots you'll see some of these on my weekly spreads um, they are pretty cute and they also match the uh, the whole set I'm using so I do like really tiny stickers for a pocket planner uh, front cover flyleaf thingy from uh, Marlene's plan to create the uh, defunct shop on Etsy the acetates you see here are from peanuts planner co most of them and then my monthly spread with that color scheme um, in my monthly plan with me video if you caught that uh, these were very very bright I used these um, mild liner brush pens and they are pretty fluorescent so then I actually just colored over top of them with this friction colors marker in gray which sort of muted everything I think you saw me do that in my weekly plan with me video uh, which recently came out as well um, so that that works out and it kind of matches things nicely and I, I really like it. it's it feels cozy on a winter's day um, and then I've got my uh, one thing one was it yeah one one year one thing tracker from my summer touch on this side it's my one line a day journal where I just kind of jot down something that happened each and every day I did it all through 2020 so this is year two and I will go back and sometimes like catch up on the previous week and so that's why I'm able to do it every single day and then on this side is the Bible in a Year podcast from Ascension Press it's really good um, and I really like that it's getting me you know to actually get some scripture in my daily routine and habit I've been listening to it on my commute um, and it's nice that like he reads it to you so you don't have to like sit down and do nothing else you can sort of multitask and you know drive and pay attention to scripture which is great over here is this is insert five from my shop my level 10 life oh, I didn't mention by the way the monthly is insert 14 uh, this level 10 life I redid it for the new month of February um, and I didn't look at the old one as I was redoing it and I think there are two categories that I got a different score for um, without looking so um, I have a couple different prayers or sorry a different goals one of them is prayer um, for this month and then I picked one for this month is what I really wanted to do was work on planning out my garden um, for the spring and summer so I've been ordering seeds and getting stuff set up I'm gonna be in I'm working on installing drip irrigation this week and uh, some other things I have some seeds coming later today but I might want to get started this weekend so that's exciting and if you notice that these goals are color-coded to the category that they fit in so these kind of go together for me this monthly resolution tracker is number 11 from my shop then I've got a general waiting on list, which also includes some things that I'm waiting on the world to begin, but I think I probably am not going to have to. <laughs> I'm going to have to just deal with them beforehand, just to wear a mask, you know? Uh, so these three top tabs are for my three like main projects. That's the idea. So the first tab here is all of my garden planning. Um, I showed, oh, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is the current layout. And then um, this is the upcoming layout. So I showed this on the community tab. If you're not subscribed to me, do that because I've been posting more stuff on the community tab lately, as is everyone else, but you know. Um, so we're gonna be working on getting a Meyer lemon tree in a pot. Then I'm getting some grow bags with some sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. And then I'm gonna be uh, lashing together some trellises to do some climbing stuff this summer, which I'm really excited about. I'm excited about single stemming my tomatoes and growing my zucchini and squash vertically again. I like upward stuff. So I'm doing the tall stuff in the middle this time so that like half of the day the stuff on the sides will get sun. I think that will help some of these things do a little bit better in the ridiculous summer heat um, and also make it just a little bit easier to get to stuff. 
and just, I don't know, hopefully look nicer. I'm doing watermelons and pumpkins. I will definitely be doing a um, garden tour sometime in the spring, I guess, once everything's in the ground. Right now it is not. We're still going strong with all of our greens. Just had um, a quiche with collard greens last night. It was pretty good. Um, I'm also, I put a little hanging planter for all of my mint family stuff. I'm getting a couple new, like a mint and another kind of mint. I moved my oregano. It had started out like this big. It ended up, um, yeah, you can't even see. It was, uh, it's ridiculous. So I put that in a pot. My shopping list, budgeting, all of this, and just general to-do list. Package tracking. This is insert number 13. Some of these are garden related, so that's why it's in here. Um, tab two, don't judge me, is for a mobile game I play. I'm not going to show that to you. Uh, tab three is for <laughs> my... Uh, I laugh because I haven't touched these in forever. I have these, you know, knitting and cross-stitch projects that I want to get, uh, in theory, done before the baby was born. No, it didn't happen. But they're still here, reminding me every time I flip through here. First tab is weeklies. This is my daughter, who I love her smile. She poses for photos more than her older sister, so that's why she's in here. Um, here's the weeklies. I'm using insert 21 from my shop right now. Um... And I think you might have gotten a glimpse at this one. This is the one I did the weekly plan with me video for. And you'll see a couple, yeah, I put like a little reminder dot there. I was mentioning those tiny dots you'll see here. Um, I used a couple here. We had some people over for dinner last night and I had to pick up a grocery order. So those dots are fun. And then I finally got around to using these fun little banner stickers that are from Twin 16. Um, I've been wanting to forever and like never get around to it. Um, I was so sure that our week was going to get derailed because our sis, uh, my daughter came home on Saturday with a fever and uh, we got her a test and she's COVID negative so she's back at the babysitters and it's all fine. It was only one day so it was a scary one day but now it's fine. So there we go. Then this next tab is for dailies. Um, I was having a lot of fun decorating my dailies for a week there using some new Twin 16 Day stickers. But then you start to one like worry about using them up. So I went back to the washi tape that I usually use. And I really just felt like using a straight up like, I don't know why I didn't want to use a day per page. I didn't feel like I needed it. I wanted just a straight to do list. So I used this kind of um, like minimalist Bujo style dailies for the second week of February. And then now I'm back into the dailies again, but still using this because I, I don't like using stickers because then they're gone. I really should just use them. Um, I've been trying to drink a lot more water. By a lot, I mean like a gallon-ish. Um, and so I whipped up these little stickers. I just cut them out myself. Um, and it's it's fun. This one's ugly because it's all colorful. Um, I should probably color over it with gray to make it all muted like the rest, but... Anyway, I'm just sort of tracking how much water I'm drinking lately because it helps with my breast milk supply. I've noticed a lot. Uh, then this guy uh, is live. Is live now in my shop. This is a meal planning and grocery list insert. And I will keep telling you more about it as I keep using it, but I've been really liking it. This is insert 27 at ganchiplans.com. Uh, so on the side you put, you know, there's one section for each meal that you want to plan to have. I just plan my dinners. Um, every size other than pocket has extra space at the bottom to put some notes about lunches and breakfasts and stuff. Um, but this one doesn't. You could add that stuff to the grocery side if you want to. Um, the circles I use to track or to sort of monitor shelf stability. So if something has a lot of vegetables, mushrooms go bad with you know within a week. Uh, you know, meat that I don't want to freeze things that basically I need to cook them sooner, those get prioritized. So those have like a one in shelf stability and the things that are live in the freezer and or the pantry um, or are things that like, I don't know, some, I, I include heavy cream because it lasts a long time because it's ultra pasteurized and I just always have some in stock in the fridge. So that counts as shelf stable too. So things that I already have the ingredients for, those are nice because I can leave them to the end of the list. If they don't get eaten, they just keep rolling over and then I have food available. So then there's room to plan your menu for the current week and then the next week, you know, if you have things to look ahead to because you're planning your grocery list and then the grocery list is categorized so you can have, you know, produce, meat, 
you know, shelves, whatever, uh, dairy, you know, different, whatever areas of the store that you shop in, um, you can put those in that order and then go through your list that way. I prefer to categorize my grocery lists when I make them. That being said, I haven't actually been inside a grocery store since April, so it, I'm not really using this side that much. But you can use them as a spread, obviously, or back to back. All right, let's see. That's the rest of this section. It's just in with my dailies because I can put the um, paper clip on there and then flip straight to it. Paper clips have two sides, you know. Next tab is my reference. <laughs> I forgot, I wrote it down because I thought it looked cool. Uh, library books don't have due dates, but I'm still keeping track of which ones I have so I don't lose them. My general to watch list hasn't really changed much, though I did finish The Next Generation and moved on to Deep Space Nine. Um, this is a general list of gift ideas for people that I don't want to forget about. My general wish list of things if someone, you know, wants to get me a birthday gift or something. Um, and then this is my breast milk log. So you can see uh, when I went back to work, I had 70 ounces and now I have 85. <laughs> so I guess that counts as a win. I was up to like one something. What? I don't know, 108, yeah. So it's kind of fluctuating and it drives me nuts, but this is the way I track it very anally. I track, you know, each pumping session on this side and then over here, I, this is how much I'm sending. Like there was seven ounces already in her freezer and then I sent 10 more to the babysitter. So she had 17, then there were three and a half left in her freezer at the end of the day. So yesterday the baby dr drank 13 and a half ounces. I had a meeting, so I only ended up pumping three times, three really good pumps, and so I didn't try to squeeze in a fourth. Um, and so I pumped 11 and a half ounces, so we're down two. But the day before, I was up two, so who knows? This morning, uh, yeah, she only nursed on one side this morning. So that was a good one. Uh, let's see. I covered up my inbox, but that's just general notes that don't have any other place to go. The garden's not in here anymore. Why does it need to be there? I just have a someday maybe list in here under projects. <laughs> so this is for any projects that are not currently active. The idea is to keep the currently active projects to three or fewer. Um, and this is anything else. And they have a sticky note index. The honeydew is on the back of the someday maybe list because they're both in the sort of category of it doesn't matter. If it mattered, I would bug it more. Then uh, this section is my future log. So fold out from Peanuts Planner Co the and afterwards for 2022 and beyond and then you, this doesn't change it looks the same every single time my birthdays and anniversaries tracker and then my recurring task list which I go through probably twice a month like once at when I'm uh, prepping for the new month and then again sometime mid-month to sort of move some of the things that I've actually gotten done and then uh, that is basically it. The next tab is has some um, some sticky notes. I restock sticky notes and jot pads. I don't know if these were in my last flip through, but I trimmed them so that they wouldn't hang over the edge. Just only a single piece of spare paper, so I need to add some more uh, so that I have some available when I want to just pull out and start a new collection. And the back has my wallet stuff, so I'm not going to go through all of that. But that is everything. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a little bit longer than usual. If you are into planner stuff, welcome. Subscribe, ring the bell. I post videos twice a week and Thursday is the planner one. So I'll see you next week for that. And then on Sunday uh, is, ooh, Sunday is a friction pen video. So if you're all about that, that's one of my like biggest videos ever was the friction hacks. So uh, I am doing a requested friction video about erasers. So I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.